Hello, and welcome back to our study of Penine Halacha, the teachings of Rebbe Malamed Shlita. We are continuing where we left off yesterday, discussing Shichur Avadim, the freeing of slaves and the connection to the land of Israel, as we continue to daven for the brave Chaylema, the IDF, Rafur Shalema, L'chol Am Yisrael, and for the release and return of every single hostage. So the next part of the Halacha discusses Tefillin. There's also a foundation found here between, or a connection. It's interesting, you want to make a play on words, the Kesher, which just means a tie, which is a Kesher found in Tefillin, but also a connection. We use the word Kesher. So there's a connection between the mitzvah of Tefillin and also settling in the land. The mitzvah of Tefillin also expresses the freedom of the Jewish people. Tefillin represents a sign of our absolute connection that we have to Hashem. And when we know that we are connected solely to Hashem, this means that we are free. We are free from any other pressures, any other yokes that are in the world. And therefore, the tefillin are similar to a crown for the Jewish people. Therefore, the topic of Israel comes up quite a bit, mentioned many times when the Torah talks about tefillin. Actually, in this week's Parsha. See how things work out? Parsha's bow. Kadesh which is one of the Parshas which is found in the tefillin itself. Because it says, And when Hashem will bring you to the land, etc., etc., the land flowing with milk and honey. And it says further, And when Hashem will bring you to the land, which Hashem promised you and your forefathers, and He gives it to you. And in the second parsha of Shema, Again, all these are found in the tefillin itself. These are the part of the four parshiyos that are found in the tefillin compartments. Hayim Shemo, a sekas kula ba'aretz Yisrael. It deals entirely with the land of Israel. Shekol haschar v'ha'ona shemuva b'torah ikra ba'aretz Yisrael. Because all the punishment and all the reward that we have in the Torah is all foundationally based in Israel. If you behave this way, the land will produce. If you don't, the land will not, etc., etc. With parsha shema, and in the first parsha of Shema, we have the mention of faith in Hashem and the oneness of Hashem. And as we have seen earlier in Perak Aleph and Perak Beis, that this expression of emuna, of the oneness of God, is really only revealed or revealed through the land of Israel. The mitzvah of tefillin, much like the mitzvah of settling the land of Israel, it connects the sanctity to the, the spiritual sanctity to something physical. The tefillin themselves, many people have never seen perhaps the scrolls that go inside of the tefillin. There's one long scroll that has all four parashios on it, and then there's four separate scrolls that go into the shel rosh, in the head part of the tefillin, the head compartment. It's worth looking into if you've never seen it to see a sofa in action. It's quite interesting. But the parchment that it's written on comes, of course, from the hide of an animal. And the the bias, or it's called the batim, the boxes of the tefillin. And I often, when I take bar mitzvah boys for their tefillin with their parents, I always ask them, what do you think it's made of? And more often than not, people, they don't know because they don't know, but they think it's plastic because it's hard, it's solid. But it's actually also made from the hide of an animal, and then it's treated in such a way that it becomes solid. <speaking in Hebrew> to show that even the animal parts of the world or the animal sides of us are actually connected to sanctity. <speaking in Hebrew> And just like the land of Israel, tefillin also express this unique connection that we have, the Jewish people, to Hashem. And therefore we tie the tefillin both 
on the hand and on the head. To say that we are literally being tied up to this godly idea. Fascinating Gemara that says, Gemara in Brachos and Davav, that Kaviachal Hashem himself wears tefillin, and on the tefillin of Akadosh Baruch Hu it says, and who is like your nation Israel, one nation in the land. He has a very interesting note here, I'm not going to go into it now, but certainly the uh, mitzvah of tefillin, extremely important, as Ramalamid says, is now connected to the land of Israel as well. This actually will conclude the first chapter of this sefer, which is Ma'alas Haaretz. The next thing that we're going to see is Kodesh V'chol B'yishu Haaretz. And we'll get into some more technical things, but um, I want to thank everybody for coming along with us. And I think that learning about Israel during this period is extremely important, as Israel is always on our minds. So please continue to daven for our soldiers in the IDF, for Shalema, Chol Yisrael, and for the return of every single hostage home safely. Thanks again for listening. See you here next time. Have a great day.